Welcome to Excel Database Features Part 2. I'm Trainer Laurie. In the last session, we learned how to build the database right. In this session, we'll look at data entry tools. We've got the database framework and we want to add data to it. The first tool is to tame that wily first row, your important header row, that disappears when we scroll down with more than a screen full. Under the View tab, it's called freeze panes, like when you're in Alaska looking out a window in winter. <laughs> One of your options is to freeze the top row, so it's very easy to use. When you freeze the top row, as you scroll down, the first row stays put, and only the rows below it will move. This is great for data entry. Here's a great database tool that you'll never find by accident. It's not on the ribbon. This is a form for data entry. How convenient is that? It takes all the field names from your header row and automatically puts them in one screen. Just hit tab, tab, tab to go between fields. It's really putting the data at the bottom row, but you don't have to be there. It's an easy and convenient way to do data entry. So how do you find it if it's not on the ribbon? Add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. Click the drop-down arrow, and one of your options is More Commands. Then click All Commands and look for Form. Then click Add and OK. And then it's only one click away. The next tool is great if you want to make sure that people put the correct data in. For example, we only do business in certain countries and I want anyone doing data entry to be able to choose the country or co company name or part number from the drop-down list, so all they have to do is click on it. It seems like a hard thing to create, but it's really easy. First, you need to make the list to create the drop-down in one of your sheets. You can put it at the bottom of your sheet and then hide the rows, or put it in the new worksheet just for your lists. Then select the cell or cells where you want the drop-down to appear. Then we go to the Data tab, Data Validation. On the Settings tab, under Allow, from the drop-down choose List. Use the Collapse button to go find your source data. Select the list of data and go back to the dialog box by clicking the Collapse button again. Click OK. And it automatically creates a drop-down in the cell. My users can just choose from the list instead of trying to figure out what should go in it. Now that the database is full of data, it's a good idea to name the data range. That way Excel will recognize it as a database for pivot tables and other great advanced functions. First, select the data by clicking in it, then hit Control A for Control It All. That will highlight or select only the data. Then go to the name box and type in database, one word, then hit Enter. If you insert a pivot table, for example, it knows the database by its name. Thank you for joining us. See you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the Trainer Lori channel.